The corridor feature definitions are similar to what we did with project settings in Select Series 4 as noted in an earlier training video. We did rename some of the uh, design stages is what we called them or referred to them in uh, Select Series 4, uh, but we have four entries that we're delivering in our example training uh, workspace environment, conceptual, design, final, and then final with contours. As with all the other feature definitions, we have the description and the name seed uh, that you can fill out along with an item type to give additional uh, properties if you wish. But your, your primary settings are going to be under your display settings, uh, processing and critical sections, and manipulator settings. A lot of these you will recognize from Select Series 4, and then some of the entries may be new. Uh, for example, on our conceptual, we have the option to uh, set true or false, the ability to display the top mesh. It actually points to a, another feature definition, not a feature definition symbology, but another feature definition under mesh, modeling, and then top mesh. And so you can see here the pointer is pointing to that particular feature definition, mesh, modeling, top mesh. And so true or false to show it, same thing for the bottom mesh. Again, this is similar to what we had in Select Series 4. Uh, yes or no to show the components and the linear features. Include no points uh, for linear feature displays, true or false. This is new to connect. Major contours display on or off, true or false. And what is their interval? And then on the major contours, what is their feature definition, which we already talked about in our train models. Then we have minor contour, display, true or false, minor contour interval, and minor contour feature definition. And we actually have one of our corridor feature definitions does turn on the contours and sets an interval. What this does is it prevents the user from having to create a proposed terrain model. They can instantly get feedback on their particular proposed contours on any of their particular corridor designs. So this is very handy and why we included it as one of our corridor feature definitions. Now let's take a look at our processing and critical sections. With the exception of a couple of entries here that are read-only in terms of densification, this is exactly the same set of settings that we had in Select Series 3 and Select Series 4. The template drop multiplier, interval multiplier, the true or false to display or to process horizontal and vertical cardinal points as well as our external control points. We have the densification of horizontal true or false, vertical true or false, and then a new one here is to enable clipping on a corridor that is also new to Open Roads Designer Connect Edition and so those are typically set to true. So for example, if we place civil cells and we want the civil cell to be able to clip the corridor, we can have this set to true and it will be clipped. The horizontal densification value and the vertical densification value come from configuration variables set in the workspace and are provided here as information only as to what those are set to. If we look at the entries here, we have the corridor element template and its uh, handle length factor. Some people ask a lot of times what is this handle length factor. We have a little tick mark that goes around the boundary of the corridor and what it does is it takes the width of the corridor and multiplies it times this number and determines the length of that little tick. We also have the corridor handle spacing. If this is set to zero then you're going to get a fixed number. I believe it's 11 uh, ticks within the entire length of the corridor. If you set a spacing then you'll get a tick based on that spacing. You have the template drop element template. You have the template drop handle length factor. Again, the same as it was in Select Series 4. Same thing with a signal station drop and a transition element. What's new in uh, the Connect Edition of Open Roads Designer is we can now set element templates to give us visual feedback for point controls, for key stations, 
for in condition exceptions and secondary alignments. Not only can we set the element templates, but we can also graphically manipulate these station drop locations directly in our corridor design versus having to go back to the corridor objects dialog to change these values. Now we can do those graphically and so these element templates control what those would appear to look like and those are all pointed to in our element templates and so if we look at for example quarter graphics and then I have a folder here called controls we have uh, our end condition exceptions our key stations our point controls and our secondary alignments if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time.